Hey everyone, it's John at Evolve. Today we wanted to look at an HV battery on a 23 Model 3 performance vehicle. So uh, some interesting things underneath. I'm going to put it up in the air and we can take a look. But as you can see from the exterior of the vehicle, really no physical damage outside uh, on this vehicle. But this thing came to us uh, dead on a tow truck. And uh, let's put it up in the air and I'll show you what we found. Okay, so we've got it up in the air, and what we can see from here is there was an impact underneath. So my assumption is maybe it was launched a little bit or hit a curb pretty hard or something like that went off-road. But no body damage other than this little nick right here, but we can see the, the uh, lower shields are, are broken. And as we go backward in the vehicle, we can see very interesting is the high voltage cables for the front drive unit here uh, and it looks like it was launched and impacted something concrete or rock hard here and tore this out and came back through to the HV battery and so always a scary condition and really what I wanted to show you is how incredibly safe Tesla HV batteries are. So one thing to know before we get any further is that now we've confirmed that our contactors are open and we've tested high voltage and low voltage to ensure that we're safe here. And obviously uh, you never want to touch any orange cables or even get close. And we have to go through all the procedures to confirm that we have no voltage back here. But so looking at the HV battery, we can see here that underneath of the front skid plate that we removed, the impact actually cut directly through both HV uh, battery lines. What we can see on the MCU inside the vehicle uh, through the logs is the actual moment of the accident right down to the second and then we can see the very first notification is that the pyro fuse had deployed and then literally milliseconds later we can see the, the rest of the concerns. Clearly what happened here, we've got about a 75% charged battery in this vehicle, but what happened here is it detected a short to ground, and this is always a condition that's frightening, frankly, is that that cable shorted out directly to the battery case itself. And within a millisecond, the battery management system, or BMS, saw that over voltage condition and blew the pyro fuse, which safed out the entire high voltage system on the battery. This is called the SKI. And so it provides impact protection to the HV battery and it's bolted down the center, but at the same time, what it does is covers the high voltage lines for the front drive unit on this vehicle. So those lines are buried up inside here. This simply unbolts uh, and gives us access to the HV lines. Around the back side, we can take a look. And again, this battery is safed out, but we can see that here's the high voltage lines out of the battery that power the front of the, uh, the front drive unit. And we've got from the battery management system these uh, communication lines that are, that essentially are telling the rest of the vehicle what's happening. So, so this plate is replaceable and obviously these lines are replaceable. So where just a few years ago you'd be buying an entire battery, in this case, if this is all that's wrong with the vehicle, we can replace just these components we can see on the skid plate here, one, this is a replaceable component now on the vehicle, so we can replace this. Uh, and we can see right here is where the impact cut through those high voltage lines, and there's even a little burn mark here, uh, which within a millisecond told the BMS, I'm out, and detected over voltage condition and, and safed out this battery. So, replaceable component, replaceable component, obviously rep replaceable component. Uh, in the vehicle. So that we have more things to test and check for. So beyond these things we see here, we also notice that our front drive unit mounting bracket uh, is broken. Uh, so this is going to need a drive unit. And in some cases, there could be components available where we don't have to replace the entire drive unit. So we'll take a peek. Uh, cross members damage, that'll have to be replaced. Obviously, our under shields and then our cooling system up front for our thermal management. We can see we've got a little leak here. And the radiator itself will have to be replaced as well as the cooling fan and the shroud and some components up here. So we're at the very beginning of our diagnostic process. We'll go through this vehicle and check everything and make sure uh, 
we're in good shape and this car is a repairable vehicle. But a low mileage, one year old vehicle um, with some pretty intense battery damage and uh, a lot of people believe that you get any damage to your battery, you're $20,000 in the hole and you got to total uh, the car. And that's really not true anymore. Um, and we know year after year, uh, Tesla continues to innovate and allow for things like replacements of components that make repairability of the vehicle uh, easier as well as more cost effective, which ultimately can drive down the cost of insurance. So, so a good example of what Tesla is doing to help improve repairability and decrease cost by some of these uh, innovations. So more to go on this vehicle, a lot of testing to do to understand what's wrong with it, but we thought we'd give you a quick glimpse at uh, some high voltage battery damage and really what that looks like as of uh, 2025 in a Tesla vehicle. Any questions, please always comment below. We'll answer as quickly as possible. And again, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Bye.